Hey guys, and welcome to another vegan meal prep video. So today I have one breakfast and one lunch that I wanna show off to you guys. We are starting off with a vegan shakshuka breakfast bowl. I bought one from Gardein one time, and then I decided I was gonna try and figure out how to make my own. So this is my own little kind of recipe after looking at other recipes and figuring out what I needed to do. So I'll leave a couple different recipes down below and let you guys know what kind of inspiration I was coming up with while I decided to make this guy. So. First things first is I dice up a little potato and I throw it into the air fryer for like 10 minutes or so and just get it a little bit crispy and cooked while I'm preparing all the rest of the stuff. So I add in onion and a little tofurkey Italian sausage. I should have diced it up a little bit smaller. I think I would have liked the sausage pieces to be a little bit smaller personally. And the whole base of the meal is tofu. So I'm gonna crumble up some tofu in there as well. So of course I'll leave a link down below to the like spice recipe um, that I found online so you guys can see exactly which spices go into this little mixture here. Then at the end I add a little bit of tomato sauce, maybe a couple tablespoons of tomato sauce, just kind of enough to make it still a little bit chunky but not like runny so just a little bit of tomato sauce to add some flavor. If I had some like cherry tomatoes or something I would totally add that into this as well but my tomatoes out in the garden are not ready yet. Okay, the lunch meal is something I've been obsessed with lately. This is a Thai spicy noodle kind of dish. And I will leave a link down below to the sauce recipe that I use, even though I do kind of change it up a little bit. But there's a Thai restaurant about 30 minutes from where I am, and they have the yummiest spicy noodles. But it's too expensive to go there all the time, so I decided to try to figure out how to make it on my own. So first of all, this year I planted some Siam Queen basil, and it is delicious. It's a nice... Thai kind of basil. They also sell just like regular like Thai basil. I don't know exactly what the differences are, but it tastes just like the basil that the Thai restaurant uses. So I love that stuff. And I picked some of that fresh and I also had a little bit frozen that I needed to use up as well. So I used that later. So you have to make your own little sauce here, which takes a little bit of time. And I'll leave a link down below to exactly how I make the sauce. But first of all, I like to coat up my tofu in some cornstarch just to help it get a little bit crispier when you're like frying it up. But that's gonna go in kind of toward the end. So I am adding in some peppers and onions just all chopped up into a little bit of oil in the pan. And then you do have to remember to have your noodles started as well. So I had my Thai noodles already cooked and ready to go before I started frying up all of the vegetables and stuff like that. Now I totally wish that I had a larger cast iron skillet because it gets a little bit tight in there with all of this stuff. Trying to do meal prep and cook like, you know, three days worth of this noodle is like really difficult to get it to fit in there. And then I just, once everything's all cooked, I add the noodles back in and then I add the oily saucy mixture and the basil, fresh basil and frozen basil in there and just mix it all up until it's nice and wilted and that's it. And then it's delicious. It's super yummy. You can adjust the spices accordingly. If you have like a not a very spicy preference, you can totally lower down the spices that are in the saucy part of it. And so I did that for a while at the beginning, but each time I make it, I feel like I add a little bit more spiciness to it. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for today's meal prep video. I hope you guys enjoyed. These are definitely meals that I eat all the time lately. If you are liking these food-related videos, leave me some comments down below and let me know, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!